Hi, I'm Mindy Peters, the Solutions Manager at SPI, and I want to show you a really quick trick in Teachable that may solve problems for you if you run a lot of sales. This question came to me from one of the members of the SPI Pro community, and she shared her problem with me like this, which was she had just run a sale for her course and she had closed that sale. And someone wrote in and they gave her a very compelling reason why they had missed the sale. You know, they had been ill or something like that and hadn't been able to make their purchase in time. Could they please still purchase at her sale price? And what she didn't know how to do was how do I open that sale up again for that one person without making it available to absolutely everybody. And there's a really easy way to do that in Teachable. I'm gonna show you how to do that. Here I am in my course in Teachable and I am in the pricing section here. So you can see all of my pricing plans for this course. This course is called A to Z Webinars and it teaches you how to set up a webinar from start to finish. $4.99 is our retail price, but every once in a while we might run a sale and sell it at $3.99. We're always really specific about our cutoff date for when that sale ends. But like this other example, what if somebody writes in after the sale is closed? You can just give somebody a direct link to checkout. So they're already sold on the course. You don't need to take them to a sales page that like explains all of the things. They just wanna buy your course. Click right here, hit copy URL. Even if your sales page is closed on Teachable, even if the sales page is not visible, the pricing links still work. If I paste that link in, I can still access that pricing plan even though it's not published on any sales page anywhere. So that's what you do if you have a customer who missed your sale and they want to get your sale price. You can still let them in on the sale price without having to reopen your sales page. I hope this is useful and answered your question. If you want to learn more about starting online courses, check out our link below. We've got a lot of great resources for you.